All right, guys, we made it to the La Mesa, Texas disc golf course right here. I'm not sure what it's called, but here's the uh, starting off the sign. Take a snapshot of that for you. And we're getting started over here. Looks like a pretty sweet course. A lot of trees, a lot of big trees. And get started here on hole number one. Here we go. All right, we're on hole number one here. All of them on the wind. Stepping up to hole number one here. Nice little shot. Man, that wind is getting it. Wow. Tough wind. Not bad. Can be a little 30 foot putt. Putting for the three. Hey. Yeah, let's go. How'd you like that hole? Sweet. Not bad. From the shorts, it wasn't very bad. Feel like from the longs you play OB across the road there, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Okay, this hole is 214. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it up there on the mound. A little bit of an uphill. Oh, yeah. I think they put the basket in a rim. I lost you. Not bad. I think I got the distance, but it's right side of the mountain. Alright, here she goes for her second shot. Get it up there next to the hill, and good shot. Oh. Okay, we made it to hole number three. What does this one play as? 193. 193, and it looks like it's right up there by the road just see it right there but it's a little awkward because the t-pad looks like it's pointing in this direction but the shot needs to go in that direction nice hit way to go that was a great shot I lost you again. Hit the trees. I gotta go first because I got out through it. So cool. Alright, second shot. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Headwind. Let's oh. oh, Forest Park. We finally found the name of the park. <laughs> On hole number four, we found it. Forest Park. We're gonna play hole number four since we are playing the shorts today. We're gonna come over here to the reds. The reds are shorts. And looks like the basket is way out there. How long does this play? This one's 201. Two? All right, here we go. Okay, don't hit me. Oh, yes! Favorite thing about disc golf? Favorite thing about disc golf is that it's always changing. It's never the same. You can go play the same course every time and it's just a little bit different. Maybe a tree grew a little longer, the wind's picked up, there's no wind. Whatever it is, it's always changing. So it's always a challenge. And it's free, mostly. Big Tuesday. Alrighty. Alright, what's the distance? Hole number six with a distance from the short tee of 258. Two, huh? 
Two fifty eight. Oh no! I feel like it helped you. I got stopped by an invisible branch. It might have helped me. Yeah, I was probably fading out. Wait. I feel like it helped you. Okay, going in for the little upshot. Ooh! Hey! Another twosie? By that red truck. Please not work. It's gonna play out by that, like, the red truck over there. Yeah, I know that. Oh, yeah. Get you some. And it looks like these two big dead trees are right in the middle, so you have to go left or right. Whatever your preference is. I'd be willing to bet that in a couple of years those trees will be out of the way. They look like they're about to fall apart. They all look dead. Like most of West Texas. The forest park is falling apart. <laughs> I didn't realize that was like connect the dots <laughs> to the dead forest. Because you said you were going to get a four, now you're going to get a four. I know. Where do you see it? it? Looks like there's no basket. I know it says it's going to be right over there by the alley and it's not. And then like, looks like they have a mound over there where they would put the basket, but no basket. So we're going to have to skip hole number seven. It's almost like you have different avenues you can go through, but uh, it's very technical. And it's a high headwind, so. Where's the basket? Behind that broken down, fallen down tree over there. Over there. Like right behind it. So this is gonna be a crazy show up. Oh no! Come up to like probably my favorite hole on the course so far. Number eight. Looks pretty sweet. into the headwind and let it skip around the dead tree over there. I'm gonna find it. Well, never mind. It's just gonna float and float and float and float and float away. Sometimes plans don't work out. Go to a little upshot and hit that tree. Perfect. Good tree. Nice putt in the wind. Let's go. Oh gosh, we can't miss the motorcycles. All right, so we just walked up on hole number nine and it looks like it's the same story as hole number seven. Took off the basket, says it'd be over there by the road somewhere, anywhere, and it is not. So we're skipping hole number nine. Okay, so after skipping hole number nine, after nine you take a long walk. It's like a mile and a half. No, not really. I don't know how long it is, but it's forever. Back on the other side of the bathrooms, all the way back to even past hole number one. So you play one, head west, and then you have to finish through nine and come all the way over here. It's almost like two separate courses. And uh, what's a good point about this course, Brooke? I was giving this course a three and a half because it has missing, missing baskets. It does have a bathroom, so I'm giving it a four out of ten. 
There you go. Alright, so hole number 11 plays 580 and the longs are up there on the top of the hill and the shorts is actually this key pad right up here on the top of the hill, the very end of the hill. You just throw out in a big open field, it's a long. Basket's out there by that tree. Alright, hole 12. Oh, number 12. 193. She's a shorty, but you know, we just walked from hole 9 all the way across the park to get to hole 10. Played hole 10, and then walked all the way across the street. Then walked 580 feet that way, then walked this way. I feel like all we're doing is walking and not playing a lot of disc golf. I think my rating goes from a 3 out of 5 to a 2 out of 5. Just too much walkie walkie and not enough play. Here's the drive on hole number 12. Get a little skip there, dude. Nice shot. You get some shade from those trees. Yeah. So the second part of the uh of course, the back nine kind of plays real shady and under all these huge trees. 14, 395. 395, and it looks like a straight shot, yeah. Kind of got to go through in between these trees here, and bam, there she is. All right, give it a shot. The line just a little low. Okay, hole number 15, 304. Looks like right out there, the little basket ride. Yeah. The thing that's making this challenging is the wind. What was that? I feel like the only thing making this challenging, not the only thing, but what's making this challenging course is the wind. Yeah, definitely. It's 304. There it is, hole 15. Just a straight shot over here. You do have OB to the left with the road. And maybe one tree on the right. That's about it. How you liking the course? I don't know, I feel a little worn out and it's more from the extra walking than the playing. And we got a little lost too. Yeah, we skipped, we bounced from hole 14 to hole 17 because the tee pads are right close together. Instead of after 14, you gotta pop out and walk away back to 15 to hit 15, 16. Meh. So, kinda messed up. Hole 16 is 298 feet. And it's pretty cool because the tee pad's right here along these wall of trees. It's kind of cool. I just like the line is right along the trees. So you can't really go left. Nice shot. Straight shot.
Oh. Hey, tree lovers. Wind speed, 70 miles per hour. Can he do it? Yep. Going in. What is it? Pole 18 is 292. 292 and it's behind a green electrical box. You can see it back there. And uh, pretty, got a tiny tree in the middle and two big trees on left and right gaps. Pretty tough. With a huge tailwind. And nice shot. Very nice. Around all that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, are we getting creative here? I think we're getting really creative. Nice. I think I saw it roll around to the basket over there. Great shot. What kind of shot is that? Big arms shot. Looks like she did roll right over to the basket. Oh, the big R shot. She's calling it the big R shot. A big, keep it low, hammer it, let it skip. <laughs> and the three Z. And to finish us off for the round, Forest Park, thank you for showing up, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! That's it.